All right, you try and try to keep your kids safe, right? But a virus now sweeping the nation is making that much more difficult. Hundreds of children in more than 10 states, as you see on the map here, have been sickened by a severe respiratory illness. You can see it's creeping closer and closer to Wisconsin as well. The suspected germ is enterovirus 68 and can cause mild cold-like symptoms, but this summer's cases are unusually severe. The virus typically causes illness lasting about a week, and most children recover with no lasting problems. Here in southeastern Wisconsin. We've not heard of any reports of the virus, none confirmed. But as WISN 12's Tama Ponton shows us, doctors and nurses at one local hospital are paying close attention and are ready to take care of you and your family. The doctors and nurses at Aurora St. Luke's Respiratory Intensive Care Unit are specially trained to know exactly what to look for if someone comes down with the enterovirus. They approach any patient as if they're potentially infectious and protect themselves with gowns, gloves, and masks. Dr. Angela Tanazi says 10 to 15 million people a year get the enterovirus, but may not know it because it's similar to a cold. Some of them might not even experience any symptoms. Uh, mild symptoms like cough or maybe a little bit of rash might be seen, but when you see cough and shortness of breath, maybe some new onset wheezing, meaning they haven't had wheezing before. Tanazi says if your child isn't responding to their regular asthma treatment, they have a cough that makes it hard for them to breathe, or a blue tinge around their mouth, those could be signs they have the virus. There are some people who may be more susceptible that you'll need to keep an eye on, including babies, children, those with allergies, and asthma. And while hand washing is something everyone knows to do, the healthcare workers in here say it is their first line of defense and it should be yours too. In Milwaukee, Tama Ponton, WISN 12 News. And if you can't wash your hands with soap and water right away, the doctor tells 12 News an alcohol based hand sanitizer will do the trick.